Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that was not meant to happen. Hello everyone, you're watching Cheska's channel and as you can probably tell my day isn't going too great at the moment. Just hit my head, probably got a bit of concussion and I've got fluff in my eye. My eye is really irritating me, I have to keep itching it. Apparently it feels okay though, maybe the fluff is gone maybe however i am sat in a car park right now because i just ran some errands yes i am an adult guys i am doing grown-up things now i actually asked you guys over on my instagram questions that you would like me to answer and so today i'm going to be answering those questions for you yes i'm gonna plug my instagram in you know if you haven't followed my instagram then you should go follow my instagram it's just here like here no here here yeah, 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 yeah. I have a bit of fun with that. It is Cheska Nadina. I post quite a lot on there. And I actually did get a lot of questions, not gonna lie. I've got a lot to answer today. So I don't want to keep you guys here forever. So I won't probably be able to answer every single question that I did get asked. But I certainly will answer the majority of them. So guys, obviously when I decided to do this q and I was thinking, how am I going to do this? I don't really know how I'm going to do this. And then I thought, do you know what? the best thing to do it came into my mind that i was going to do a kind of mukbang styled video so i'm gonna munch on a mcdonald's while i answer these questions for you guys i really hope you don't mind that you know get a little bit jealous out there a seagull just pooed right next to my car but it didn't hit my car does that mean i'm gonna have bad luck anyway cheers cheers Okay, so we're all parked up now. I've got my lovely McDonald's. I am absolutely so excited to like do this video. I don't even know why, but I just am. Really need to like get a bit in my car. Is that normal? <laughs> so refreshing. Okay, so first question. What do I have for my McDonald's? Yeah, that wasn't a question, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So I always get a Big Mac meal because I just absolutely love a Big Mac. I mean, who's with me? Comment down below if you're with me. <laughs> I get a Coke as my drink. And I also just love to get the lovely cheese melts, guys. These are to die for if you haven't had them before. So I'm actually going to answer this in two sections. So I got asked a lot of random questions. So I'll be answering those first. And then I got asked a lot of YouTube questions. So if you want to know the answers to my YouTube questions, then make sure you stick around to the end of this video. Let's get straight into to it. Okay, so I've got my questions here. Yeah. So the first question is if your life was a movie, who would you pick to play you? It's a good question because I actually have no idea. But off that, I will just go with Lake Lively just because she's a wonderful person and she would just make my life look really good. <laughs> okay, next question is, what's your go-to drink on a night out? My go-to drink on a night out would be absolutely... That wasn't meant to happen. Do you know what? I'm really struggling to answer this. Do you know why? Because I haven't been out in absolutely ages. Like, I can't remember the last time I had a night out. Now I'm remembering. It's all coming back to me. One of my drinks that I go to for a night out is definitely a pink gin and lemonade. Just because I hate tonic, but I absolutely love pink gin. And that combo is just everything. <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, so this one's a good one. It is, what's some advice that you'd give to your younger selves? Oh my God, what would I give to my younger self? So one thing I would say is to be kinder to yourself. I feel like through life, especially me, I've always beaten myself up over the smallest things. And in comparison to everything in the world, it's really not that big and it's really not that important. And it's just to look after yourself more and be kinder to yourself. And remember that you do have down days, you do have awful days, you do have rubbish days, and it's absolutely okay. And just to stop worrying. You know, stop worrying about things. I enjoyed that question. That was fun. Okay, so the next question that I have is what's your favourite skincare brand? So my favourite skincare brand would definitely have to be Clinique. I just think Clinique, everything about their products are just amazing. Obviously, they do makeup and things like that, which I absolutely love. So Clinique is definitely up there. However, something that I personally really, really love, that is my kind of my go-to, would definitely 100% be Simple Kind to Skin. I have really sensitive skin, and so Simple Kind to Skin is literally kind to the skin, and it just does wonders, 100%. Oh, it looks really nice today. Guys, can you see how... How nice that burger looks. Mm -mm. <coughs> so good. Okay, so my next question is, if I could live anywhere abroad, where would it be? Now, this is so difficult because I, quite frankly, I have no idea. Not gonna lie, I feel like, because I don't really know Italy, I love Italian food. It's my favourite food. So I guess I would love to be in the prime area of Italian food. I'd probably live at the Amalfi Coast. The Amalfi Coast is just stunning. The weather is gorgeous. Oh, and also people tend to live there longer. Like, they have longer lives. Yeah, I'd go to Italy. There you go. What a great answer. 
answer. Okay, so I also got what is my favorite brand? So my favorite brand, and I'm assuming this means clothing brand, would definitely be H&M. I absolutely love H&M. Their style is my style. <laughs> they just stock everything in their shop on their website that I just love. In fact, this jumper here, is H&M and if you haven't watched my H&M haul yet I'd go check that out it was on my channel last week so yeah okay so I actually got two separate people asking me where do I see myself in 10 years and someone else asked me where do I see myself in five years again this is a hard hard question let me eat this quickly because this is just calling my name in 10 years I will be 31 and in five years I will be 26 yeah i hope i got that right yeah i will be so when i'm 26 i hope to have my life more together not gonna lie i mean 26 is one of those ages where you do hope that you have the majority of your shoot together but you know that you don't have to have all of it together just yet um I, I am a great believer that everything happens for a reason and it kind of goes with the flow and things happen naturally in your life for a reason a little fact about me i am one of those people but i hope to see myself in five years with a stable career i hope that i have got a good income flowing in at that point it's like proper income where i am super independent i would obviously love to have a lovely big family of subscribers in five years on my channel with me obviously because who doesn't i would also like to have my own place at that point whether that's a flat or a house i'm not too sure yet in 10 years that is a really hard one i mean 31 difficult one i don't know i don't know where i'd be in 10 years not gonna lie i'm not really sure when i'm gonna have children yet okay so my next question is do you have any tattoos no i don't have any tattoos um i'm not oh hello i am a tattoo free lady yes i am okay so what's the first thing you are going to do after corona what is the first thing now i do know what the, i know exactly what the first thing i would do after corona get back with my girls i literally miss getting with my girls and letting our hair down and enjoying ourselves drinking good drinks and eating good food and having a good old chin wag and a gossip i just miss it so much okay another question i got is favorite day of the week so my favorite day of the week would definitely be the cliche thing to say i know but it is true is 100% a friday why a friday because we have saturday and sunday which is the weekend and we all love a bit of time to relax a bit of time to ourselves this trip is kind of cold now but fine okay so i got a question favorite hobbies i've got many favorite hobbies and many things i do in my life it's like a hobby but it's also a step towards my future so for example my one of my hobbies is definitely youtube like i absolutely love doing youtube it's so much fun i just love you guys so youtube <laughs> another one of my favorite hobbies is obviously singing i absolutely love to sing okay so i also got asked if you could have any of your friends jobs tomorrow what would it be and why now this is the, like the most difficult question out of all my questions I know who asked me this and I'm not happy because I don't know how to answer this question. Now, it's not because I'm going to offend any of my friends. I know all my friends and if they love their job and those who don't love their jobs, well, we're all different. Like, we're all different. Like, my friends might really enjoy their job, but maybe I wouldn't. So I know who asked me this. It was my friend Leighton. And not going to lie, his job is pretty cool. So I probably would steal his job. So I pretty much answered all my random questions. Oh, this tomato ketchup is like insane. Now I'm gonna try my hardest to answer these to the best I possibly can. What made you want to start YouTube? Okay, so yeah, this is a good question. So I decided to start YouTube, or I should say what made me want to do YouTube was actually a gut feeling. I don't know, that sounds really stupid, probably. Or you could call it a passion for just performing in front of the camera and creating content and presenting and singing. And I'm a great believer in going with what your natural instincts are and obviously going with what you feel most happy years with and I just thought it was the best place for me to express my passion for singing. It was actually mainly why I started to, to promote my singing and to promote my covers but then I found this massive huge passion for talking in front of the camera, presenting, for creating fun content and oh my god I'm having the best time with it and I'm enjoying it so so much so I'm literally so glad I started YouTube. Okay so next question is I actually got asked what are my goals for 2021 on YouTube but another person asked me what are my goals on YouTube in general so I'm going to link these two together because obviously they're very similar so one of my goals is to definitely reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm not that far off and I would love to reach that 1,000 mark. It's just a great milestone to reach. You know, at the beginning when I started YouTube, it was 100 and you got to 200. It's mad to think that I've had that many people subscribe to my channel anyway. And I'm so grateful for all of you who have subscribed to me so far. So on that note, if you are not subscribed yet and you are enjoying this video, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So also along with that, I would love to be monetized. So to be monetized, you 
you need to have 1,000 subscribers, but you also need to have 4,000 watch hours. It's such an achievement to be monetized, like it's such a good feeling within you to know that you've hit that goal, to know that people are actually wanting to watch your content. What's your views and opinions on Kaylee Marie's channel? Now, Kaylee, I know you asked me this question. In my opinion of your channel is you are fabulous. I love watching your content. You are fun, you are bubbly, you are a lovely, lovely girl, and you should definitely keep up with what you are doing. And I can't wait to see you post your next video. I'll be looking forward to that. And if you haven't subscribed to her channel yet, make sure you go check her channel out and subscribe over there. There are so many great YouTubers that I would love, love to mention right now. So not gonna lie, I have finished my McDonald's a couple minutes ago because I haven't been eating or munching or drinking in a while. I've never done a QA and a and I feel like it was time to do a QA. and a you know? It's been a little while. I wanted all you lovely subscribers who support me to get to know me a bit better, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what was your favourite answer, or if you have any more questions, I would happily answer them in the comments below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I can't leave the toilet, which is really awkward, because during Corona, you can't just walk in and go to the toilet anywhere anymore. I've now got a drive home with my legs crossed no that's totally illegal but i won't be doing that i love talking to you guys it's so much fun and of course i will definitely see you guys on my next video see you then bye